Hello everyone, happy Thursday. It's Connor here. Let's chat some more candle reviews today. I've got two brand new reviews for you guys and I'm going to be kicking it off here with a Nest Candle. So I love Nest Candles. Um, they are what would be considered the luxury candle brand or a luxury candle brand. And I say that with air quotes because I know that everyone kind of has different opinions on luxury brands. Um, I personally like the scents on these candles. I like the packaging. I like the whole vibe of the collections. I just think that they seem a little bit more um, higher class, I guess, and more premium. I think that they have some really gorgeous fragrances, and I think that Laura does have a really good nose. So, those are the main reasons why I buy them. Um, I totally get it though. Like these are pretty expensive candles. They are eight ounces and they run for $46. So I do definitely understand that, but um, every once in a while I do like to treat myself and pick a nest candle up. Now, this one here is Mediterranean Fig. So I actually found this one in Home Goods, which really surprised me when I found it. I found this one and then I also found a three wick and I took both of them and I was just so surprised to find a nest candle in Home Goods. Home Goods just didn't really seem like a place to me that a nest candle would be or just like any discount store. I didn't see nest going towards that option. Um, by the way, Laura Slatkin owns Nest Candles, and she's married to Harry Slatkin, who owns the Homeworks brand. And Homeworks is sold at Home Goods, so I don't know if there's like a connection between there. But what I did notice is that this scent is actually no longer available, so I'm guessing that's why it was at Home Goods because I think if it were like a current scent, it wouldn't make sense. Um, I'm looking at the box now. I did pick this one up for. $19.99 as you can see so um it was a really good deal on this candle and I definitely snatched it snatched it up and um now I'm going to be here talking about this candle with you guys so this is again Mediterranean fig it is no longer available but I thought you know what if they ever bring it back I might as well have a review here on my channel off of it or if you already purchased it then um you know you'll see this review and be like oh that's what I have to look forward to so here's the packaging by the way I love the packaging of nest candles they come in this really nice box I just think that it's really pretty these are just really good packaging candles um okay so this one says capturing the aromas of the lush Mediterranean landscape crushed fig leaves and blue cypress are mingled with essence of turquoise waters and dewy violet. Okay, so this is a really interesting, pretty scent. And honestly, when I saw Mediterranean fig, I was like, hmm, I really don't know what to expect with this one. But honestly, I do like this scent. I think it's a very complex scent and I really had to read into the notes and read over the description multiple times to like really understand what I was smelling in this candle because there are a lot of different notes in here that make up this fragrance. Um, so basically, as far as the fig goes itself, I do feel like this kind of has a fig vibe to it. Now you have to remember a fig is like a fruit. So it's this doesn't necessarily have a fruitiness to it, but it does have kind of like that tartness to it, which it's not a tart fragrance, but it does have a tartness in there because of that fig. And it's mixed really well with like a pretty airy scent. Um, I definitely think that there's like some, it says turquoise waters here on the box, but just like oceanic notes overall, it does definitely have some like oceanic notes in there and kind of like an ocean vibe in here. There is some violet and I think that that is really mixed in with some lavender and I just think that it all works really well together. Um, if I had to compare it with another scent, this does remind me a lot of the Ocean Mist and Sea Salt fragrance from, or sorry, not the Ocean Mist and Sea Salt, the Driftwood and Chamomile. 
These two are very similar in a way where I feel like they both have like a chamomile and like a lavender base to them. This this really should have chamomile as a note here on the box because this is a very similar scent to that. It's very calming, very relaxing, kind of almost has like a spa feel to it. And actually, the reason they may have discontinued this one is because it's just a, um, that it's just because um, the driftwood and chamomile is just a repackage of this Mediterranean fig. I'm honestly not sure, but when I was smelling the driftwood and chamomile, I was like, hmm, these smell really similar, so not quite sure there. Um, I guess I should check the back of the driftwood and chamomile box and see if it's the same description. But overall, I do think that this is a nice scent. To me, this is a very good transitional scent because it's not too floral, it's not too fruity, it's just our, like a nicer scent to say goodbye to the winter and um, burn now. Now, it is Mediterranean fig, so it would make sense to burn this really during the spring or the summer, but I do think that it is a nice scent here for February. Okay, so now to the performance of the candle. This is um, burning really well for me. Let me go ahead and give you guys an overhead view. As you can see, it has been burning for about three and a half to four hours now. We are slowly getting the full pool. It does pull out. It does not have tunneling issues or anything like that. I did want to mention that I do use a Hurricane on my Nest Candles, which is basically a sleeve for your candle and it goes right over your candle. Um, a hurricane has different uses and I have a whole video on hurricanes by the way so I will link it down below if you're interested as well as a good hurricane option. This one here is sold out unfortunately. But as I was saying, hurricanes have a few different things that they do. The primarily way that I use a hurricane is to help pull out the candle quicker because it does trap the heat here inside of the glass and makes the wax go to the sides of the candle quicker and basically pull out faster. Um, it also does help to pump the fragrance out a little bit. Now, is it like a crazy uh, increase in strength and throw? No, but it does help a little bit. I also just like the look of the hurricane over the candle. I think it's a nice touch and kind of works well with the home fragrance. By the way, I just love the look of these nest candles. I mean, these are beautiful packaging. They really fit in with any um, style. And I've always thought that just nest has a very chic or very fancy looking packaging to them. Okay, so the burn is doing well. No sooty, no tunneling, anything like that. We got a really nice clean burn. By the way, the nest candle is used like a premium paraffin wax actually which is not the same wax as a like yankee candle or like the country candles from kringle candle that well i guess the old country candles now that they're soy now but um it's not that same paraffin that like we know from yankee candle this is a really soft wax it almost has like a glue like texture to it it's very soft i mean you can honestly stick your finger in it and your finger will go down this is the softest wax that i know of and i think that it's a very slow burning candle and i do think that there's paraffin do i think that there's some other waxes mixed in with the paraffin i do i think that there's maybe some coconut and maybe beeswax um that's just my predictions, but I'm not quite sure, but I do believe that it's like a paraffin blend. So that is the wax type. Now, as far as the strength of the throat is doing, this one is doing really well for me. Um, I feel like nest candles, for the price that they are, you would really hope to have a good strength of throw, but I do feel that sometimes they are, um, you know, you win some, you lose some, and they're not always the same with their strength and throw, but I do feel like this one is doing pretty good for me. I'm burning it here in the dining room and it's giving me a strength of the throw about, well, a strength of like a six and a half to a seven, leaning more towards the six and a half. I felt like on my first burn, it was really strong and 
for some reason, now that I'm like halfway done with it, it has faded a little bit, I guess, but it's still a pretty strong fragrance. The throw is not incredible. Um, it doesn't like go into other rooms. It stays here in this room. I do burn other candles and I have wax melts going on. So I've got fragrance in other parts of my house. So I don't necessarily need this candle to spread into other parts of my house, but I would say it does the job of filling up the dining room pretty well with a strength of like a six and a half. It's not something that's gonna, you know, slap you in the face. It, it's a nice, pleasant fragrant when, fragrance when you walk in. Um, a little bit on the lighter side, but I would give it like a six and a half for the strength and throw. I could use a little bit more strength and throw as I guess what I'm trying to say, but I am pretty satisfied with what it is giving me. So yeah, that is my thoughts on Nest Mediterranean Fig. Let me know down below if you did get the chance to pick this one up when it was available. And let me know if you have enjoyed it, if you've picked it up. And let me know if you're interested in it returning if you have not. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Turn on that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next review. I do have one coming shortly later today. So I will see you guys then. Bye.